Which camera? I'm gonna look at this camera. My name's Tarek Davis. I do commercials, I do theater. I'm an actor, a writer, that's about it. Since as far as I can remember, I wanted to be a comic book artist. I still draw, I still draw comics. I had a web comic called Up Uppity and Away uh, about a black guy that flies without an airplane. I'm expecting to have a ball. I remember watching Bob Ross. I remember being like six years old, turning the television on, happening on Bob Ross, and then just like blissing out. That probably kept me off drugs. So thank you, Bob Ross. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start out with a little two-inch brush. A two-inch brush? Wow. He really is amazing. Uh, is this not the two-inch? This is the one-inch. I can't count. This is not working out. You know, I'm gonna move on to the two-inch. What was that? Was that black or is that the blue? I think that's black. I always bet on black. Do you know what, where that quote is from? I believe it is from the Oscar-winning film from 1993, uh, Passenger 57. Won an Oscar, if I'm not mistaken. It's about an airplane and a man who was a passenger on that airplane. And then he comes back and he finds a seat and someone's sitting in it. And he's like, excuse me, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm Passenger 57. Yeah. You're sitting in my seat. Oh. And then like, you know, all hell breaks loose. Good Oscar-winning drama. Do you think Bob Ross went to go see Passenger 57? Yes, I do. Do I think he loved Passenger 57? Yes. I think he was early on the Wesley Snipes fan train. I actually remember a show, Bob Ross was like, you know what, I don't want to digress too much from this painting, but Wesley Snipes, it's an actor you guys should be checking out. I'm sorry, Bob, I am not <laughs> finishing my mountain with you, but I tell you what, I got a mountain of memories of all those great movies in the 90s. Surviving the game, that was gold. It was Charles Dutton, Rucker Hauer, all trying to chase Ice-T, and kill him and hunt him, the hunted became the hunter, you know? Similar to another 1990s classic, Hard Target, with <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Damme. Man, that movie won an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the mountain of art you want to be making. You want to make a movie where you have Jean-Claude Van Damme with the mullet looking dead ass in the camera and being like, I am an American. <laughs> so this is, this is what I've got. I got half a mountain peak, but you know what? Sometimes all you can see is half the mountain peak. I just got a cabin? This is harder than I thought. I made a chocolate house. This looks like chocolate ice cream. This doesn't look like a house. This roof defies all physics. I shouldn't have said I like draw, cause like, I feel like that put the expectations for this shitty house that I should have made. Oh, we're done? Yeah. Hey, thanks, Bob. So this tree, I was like, okay, I've been paying attention to Bob Ross to uh, make trees for ever. Can't say the same for the mountain, but you get a general idea. If I was like five years old and I came home with that, you'd be like, that's a mountain. Mountains are beautiful and I am happy with that. Let's look at this cabin. This cabin is kind of like a lot of the movies that I like to watch. Shitty. There's a warm quality to it. If you were stuck out here and you're, you're not getting any cell phone reception, you got a home. And so I'm going to be happy with that. I've never uh, signed my name with a paintbrush before, so it's a little weird, but I'm a little weird, so I'm okay with that too. Bob Ross is a boss. <laughs>